Hey friends, welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to boost your productivity and build better habits. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to use the Reminders app on the iPhone with iOS 14 Widget Smith in Shortcuts. Let's jump right into it. So a couple months ago, I did this tutorial on how to use the Reminders app on the iPhone with a minimalist approach. And I thought it was just kind of a throwaway video, but it turns out people loved it. It's my best performing video on the channel. It has like 40 something thousand views, which is incredible. Thank you all so much for your support. If you came here to my channel because of that video, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. But with the drop of iOS 14 a couple weeks ago, I wanted to show you how to use the Reminders app basically with that same method, but a little bit better with Widget Smith and Shortcuts. So let's jump into the screen recording so I can show you how it's done. So grab out your phone and I don't have to say this, but make sure you have iOS 14 downloaded before you do this because you won't be able to do it if you don't have iOS 14 downloaded. So you can't do it anyway. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna go ahead and make sure you have the Shortcuts app downloaded on the iPhone. It looks like this, it says Shortcuts, it kind of has two uh, little fun squares. Make sure that is downloaded at first. And on the homepage of the Shortcuts app, there are three tickers down in the bottom. The My Shortcuts, Automation, and Gallery. The Automation is an incredible tool which I'm gonna post about next week, but today we're just gonna look at how to add the Reminders app to the widget on the home screen and a couple other shortcuts. So go ahead and hit the Shortcuts button in the top left-hand corner, and you'll see a button where you can add your uh, different folders. So the first thing we do is we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna name, or I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna name it demo two, because I already did a demo earlier when I was testing this. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this uh, kind of just like a fun logo. Um, I don't really know what this logo does, it's just a logo, it's not really anything, throw whatever you want on there. Next thing we're gonna do is once you create that shortcut folder, we're gonna go swipe up, we're gonna go to your home screen, tap and hold on white space, press the plus sign up here, and when you type in widgets, what you're gonna do is we're gonna do shortcuts. From there, you can do a small widget, a medium widget, or a large widget. The one we wanna do is, really you can do whatever one you wanna do. If you wanna have a ton of them, uh, you can do the far left one. If you wanna have four, you can do the this middle one here. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a shortcut with four little boxes in it. Gonna go ahead and press add widget. Then you're gonna go ahead and press done once that's there. So now that we have our widget set, we need to actually configure the add new reminder button. So what we're gonna do for that is press and hold the widget. We're gonna go ahead and press edit widget. From there, it's gonna ask us to designate a folder that we want this widget to look into. So we're gonna press folder and we're gonna go ahead and select the folder that you just created. I created mine and I named it demo two, so you're gonna create demo two. Go ahead and tap out of that and as you'll see, all those squares went away, now it's just completely empty. If you tap into one of them, it doesn't do anything. And that's because we actually haven't set a widget yet. So again, navigate over to your shortcuts panel. Go ahead and open up the folder that you created called demo two, or whatever you named yours. And in the upper right hand corner, press the plus button. From there, you're gonna go ahead and add a new action. So if you're familiar with coding, you're basically telling your iPhone, if this, then that. So if I press this shortcut button, I want this to happen. So gonna go ahead and press add action. From there, we're gonna search our apps and we're gonna go ahead and type in reminders. And the very first selection is add new reminder. That's the one that we're gonna choose, but there are a lot of options there if you wanna choose a different one. But what we're gonna use is add reminder. So once we have that, it says add reminder to thoughts. The thoughts is my list I created in the other video I posted a couple weeks ago, linked up there if you wanna go watch it. Next thing we're gonna do is press the reminder button and we want our phone to, every time we ask, every time we press this button, we want our iPhone to ask us, what is the name of the reminder? If you don't want us, if you don't want it to do that, you could have it uh, copy whatever's in the clipboard, you have could have it add the current date or a different shortcut input. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we press ask each time. So add text to thoughts and that is the list that I wanna create it to. If you wanna add it to a different list each time, you can. However, I don't recommend this because it adds more friction and more friction equals less things getting done. So we're just gonna add, add text to thoughts, cancel and the alert uh, this is really up to you. You can have it alert you at a specific time every time you create a reminder. So every time you press that button and you add in, remind me to grab the towels, it's gonna remind you at a specific time every single day. I'm not gonna do that, but you can if you would like to. I don't wanna have an alert 
because I use these more for like quick thoughts and I go through them in the beginning or at the end of my day, every single day and add those to my Roam Research app. So if we toggle down the show more, you can add different priorities, you can flag it, you can create a URL, you can add images to it or you can create a parent reminder. I'm not gonna do any of those things because again, more inputs equal more friction equal less stuff getting done. So we're gonna go ahead and press the next button in the upper right hand corner and we're gonna name this shortcut. And we're just gonna name it super simple add reminder. If you wanna get creative with it, you can. I don't really care because I'm not your dad. It already says I have a reminder named add a reminder. So I'm just using the underscore to differentiate it a little bit for the purpose of this video. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and tap the icon next to it. Now, this right here is where you can basically color your icon and make it whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna make it uh, kind of this blue. Actually, yeah, I like that kind of like gray color. So bottom, middle row, and the glyph, uh, I'm just gonna do like this kind of cool QR code. Now you can do really whatever you want. You can add different objects, uh, you can look for people or different symbols, whatever you want, but this is what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. Now, once I'm done with that, just press done in the upper right hand corner. Now, if we go to our home screen, we see our widget has add reminder. Now, if you press that just one time, it's gonna ask you, what would you like to be reminded about? Now you can just go ahead and type in, this is a reminder for the YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and press done when you're done with that. Now, how do you actually get to those reminders? And that is a different widget. What we're gonna do is swipe over to the left side, press the edit button in the upper left-hand corner, go ahead and press the plus button. You like that? Me and my fiance, or me and my wife, actually. That's when we got engaged. Uh, for search widgets, we're just gonna go ahead and type in reminders. And now you can choose if you want small, medium, or a large. I'm gonna do actually a large. I think I like the look of that. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and press done in the upper right hand corner and swipe away. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna repeat that process with different apps, just go ahead and keep doing that. Keep playing around in that shortcuts app. And if you wanna customize it a little bit, go ahead and check out how to use Widget Smith on iOS 14. That's how you customize the iPhone. Again, that video, more videos on automation and other iOS 14 videos are coming in the next couple of weeks. And it's not just for vain, it's truly so we can up our productivity and build better habits and use technology in our day-to-day -day lives. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, press the like button, tap the bell and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I post new videos. And if you enjoy the content around productivity and habits, or if you just like me as a person, subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Every single Friday it goes out called The Bookshelf, and it'll continue to give you tips on how to boost productivity and build better habits. Plus, share any interesting articles, books, podcasts, or other resources I found throughout the week. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below, or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Dalton Mabry, and share some love on Twitter. Might as well, right? You're already there. And if you wanna watch more of my videos, why don't you go ahead and check out one of these videos right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.